Hello, hello. Welcome back to the mat. Today's practice has a theme of presence, getting really present in the here and now in this moment. The holidays are over. We have just entered a new year and it can be a time that feels really sort of frantic. We're um, doing a lot of things, kind of um, our energy is being spent in all these different places. And so this practice is designed to really bring you here into the now, into this present moment, ready to take on this year. There are no props that you should necessarily need. As always, if there are props that you like to have handy, feel free to have them near your mat. But all you should really need is your yoga mat. If you have not joined the online tribe, click the link in the description below. Come on in and join us. Hello, You'll hello. get every week's brand Welcome new class delivered to directly mat. to you, as well Today's as some other yoga has a theme of of presence. And if you would like Getting to support really the channel present, and the, the making of more classes and like in these, this present please consider moment, joining me on Patreon. Truly there the are only various moment membership that tiers, and each really one comes exists. with some awesome goodies that you receive from me. So you can check that out at the Patreon link below. Alrighty, that's it. Go ahead and unroll your mat, and we're going to begin on our backs today. Alrighty, go ahead and come onto your back, just like your Shavasana. We're going to extend the legs long. The hands can rest wherever you'd like them to rest. So you can have them by the sides of your body. They can rest on the belly. You can bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Truly whatever speaks to you. And allow yourself to drop into this present moment. So there is nothing else that you need to do right now. There's nowhere else that you need to be. Your only job for this next little while is to breathe, to move, to be here with your breath in your body. And so really tune into your breath. Notice what it feels like to inhale and exhale. The coolness in your nostrils as the breath comes in. And slight warmth as the breath leaves the body. And the gentle rise and fall of your belly as you breathe in and out. Just taking just a couple more breaths right here. Staying with each one here in this moment. And then go ahead and hug the knees in towards the chest. Give them a squeeze. And then go ahead and release the left leg. Bring sole of the left foot flat onto your mat. Cross the right ankle just above the left knee, creating a figure four. And then hug the left leg in towards the chest. So the right hand will thread through the space between the legs. Left hand to the outside of the left leg as you gently pull the legs in. You're going to keep the legs exactly as they are. You're going to use the left leg to sort of um, propel you back and then up, rolling up to a seat, keeping the figure four in the legs. The hands are going to come back behind you uh, to support you, and you're going to lift the heart up towards the legs. So the left foot, left foot can scooch out if um, you need a bit more space, or you bring it in closer if you'd like to intensify this stretch. Whatever works for you. And 
And then go ahead and bring the palms flat. The fingertips can face out to the side or towards the body, whatever feels best for you. Press down into the left foot, lift the hips up, coming into a figure four reverse tabletop. If it feels okay, you can drop the head back. And then bring the hips back down onto the earth. Release the right leg, bring the legs together. Finding your Navasana boat pose, lifting the legs. You can keep the shins parallel to the earth. You can keep the hands behind the thighs if that makes this a bit, uh, feel a bit more supported, or you can release the arms. And then from here, we're gonna lower halfway into an Ardha Navasana. So low boat pose. And then come to lie down once again, just like Shavasana. And then hug the knees into the chest. Release the right leg, sole of the right foot flat on the earth, cross left ankle above the right knee, create your figure four, and then hug the right leg in towards the chest. Coming into all of that on the other side. Feeling into the stretch along the outer left hip. And then from here, you can sort of straighten the right leg to propel you back and then up to sit, keeping the figure four. Sort of readjust yourself so you're sitting up on sit bones, hands behind you, and then press the chest up toward the leg. So coming into the same stretch, but in a seated pose. And then bringing the palms flat on the earth, pressing into the right foot, lifting the hips up to the sky, maybe dropping the head back. And taking one more inhale and exhale, lowering the hips. And then from here, Find your Navasana boat pose once again. Find the variation that speaks to you. Bring an awareness to the belly. And then lower the feet. Cross at the shins, roll over the legs, and come on into your tabletop position. Hands and knees. Stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the heart, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, chin towards chest. Take two more like this. Inhale to open the heart. Exhale to round. One more inhale. And exhale. And then from here, um, tuck the toes under, lift the knees and hips, find downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet here if you'd like, if that speaks to you. Finding a little bit of movement. Noticing what it feels like to come into this shape here in this moment on this day. And then begin to walk the feet up to the top of the mat. Find a hip with, hip with distance between the feet. Let the torso and head hang heavy, coming into a ragdoll fold, maybe swaying the torso, maybe shifting the weight on the feet, checking in with the back side of the body. And then on an inhale, lift halfway, lengthen and crown of the head forward, and as you exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Keep a bend in the knees, hands to hips. Come to stand with the flat back. We're going to come into a Surya Namaskar C. So finding our Tadasana Mountain Pose at the top of the mat. Go ahead and interlace the thumbs, or hook the thumbs, rather. As you inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Maybe find a gentle back bend at the top. And as you exhale, fold down over the leg. Step the right foot way back as you inhale, open the heart forward. As you exhale, plant the palms and step the left foot back for downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into a plank pose. As you exhale, lower the knees to the earth, arch the back, bend the elbows, lower the chest, and then the chin to the earth. 
As you inhale, slide forward, open the heart, press the tops of the feet to the earth, cobra pose. And as you exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Step the right foot in between the hands. Inhale, open the heart forward. As you exhale, step the left foot up to meet the right as you fold. Hook the thumbs. Inhale to rise. Open the heart. Exhale brings you right back down. Fold over legs. Step the left foot way back. Inhale, open the heart. Plant the palms and step the right foot back downward facing dog. As you inhale, come forward, plank pose. Exhale, knees to the earth. Arch the back, bend the elbows, chest and chin to the earth. Inhale, slide forward, cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. Go ahead and step the right foot in between the hands. Staying on the ball of the back foot, coming into a high lunge. So rooting down through the feet, finding length through the spine. Now from here, the legs stay as they are. You're going to lean the torso towards the front of your mat. So long line of energy from the left heel all the way out the crown of the head through the fingertips. From here, we're going to bring all the way down to the right leg and lift the left leg into a floating tree. So coming onto the right foot, the left leg comes up and opens out. So like a tree pose, but the left leg is unsupported, a floating tree. Now from here, Shiva squat. Start to bend into the right knee. The left knee comes behind the right, bending into both legs and the arms come back, reaching towards the back of your mat. Now take the left leg and extend it long and back and open into warrior two. Heel to arch alignment, sitting down into the legs. Flip the front palm as you inhale, lean back, peaceful warrior. And as you exhale, cartwheel the hands to the earth, take the right foot back, plank pose, inhale here. As you exhale, option to lower the knees or keep them lifted for chaturanga. Inhale to open the heart, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Step left foot in between the hands. Come on up, high lunge. Root down through the legs. Can you be here now in this moment? Even in this pose that you've probably done a hundred times before, can you fully be in the present with all of the sensations of this pose? Keep the legs as they are. Lean the torso long over the left leg. Bring all the weight onto the left foot, lifting the right leg up and out. Find your floating tree. Begin to bend into the left knee. The right knee comes behind the left. Shiva squat, arms reach towards the back of your mat. And then take the right leg long and back, open into your warrior two. Flip the front palm, lean back, peaceful warrior. As you exhale, cartwheel hands to the earth and take the left foot back. Take your vinyasa here as you would like it or feel free to skip it. And if you'd prefer to head straight into your downward facing dog. Big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Take a moment to bring the knees to the earth. Find your child's pose. Forehead to the mat. Allow yourself to get heavy here. Come back into the breath. In every pause, you have an opportunity to recommit to staying in the present moment. So can you be here with your breath in your body here in this moment? Mm 
Mm, go ahead and come back into downward facing dog, please. Mm, go ahead and step the right foot between the hands. Inhale, rise, find your high lunge once again. We've been here before. Lean the torso long over the right leg. Now from here, we're gonna come into a figure four balance. So the left leg comes in towards the chest, left ankle crosses above the right knee, sit down into the right leg. So like a one-legged chair pose. Begin to lift out of this pose, bringing left knee into the chest and then come back into your Shiva squat. Left knee behind the right, bend into the right leg, arms go back. Extend the left leg long and back. Find your high lunge once again. And then bring the left hand down onto the earth. Open the right arm up to the sky, finding a twist towards the right leg. And from here, side plank. Press the earth away with the left arm. Start to come onto the outside edge of the left foot. Heel to the right foot towards the center of the mat. Option to stay here, pressing the hips to the sky. Option to stack the right foot on top of the left for your side plank. Maybe you get, lift the gaze up towards the right fingertips. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand to the earth. Vinyasa if you would like it. Otherwise, downward facing dog. Big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Left foot between the hands. Rise up to stand, find your high lunge. Lean the torso long over the left leg. Start to bring all the weight on to the left leg. Bring the right knee into the chest. Cross the right ankle above the left knee. Sit down into the left leg. Find your figure four balance. Shiva squat. So straighten out of the left leg a little bit. Right knee comes behind the left. Rebend into the left knee. Arms reach towards the back of your mat. Extend the right leg long and back. Find your high lunge once again. And then right palm to the earth, left arm to the sky, twisting towards the left leg. Really press the earth away with the right arm. Feel space in between the right shoulder and the right ear. Coming into your side plank. Start to heel toe left foot towards the middle of your mat as you come onto the outside edge of the right foot. You can stay right here or you can stack the left foot on top of the right. Lift the hips up high, maybe lift the gaze. Take one more inhale. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Vinyasa if you like it. And downward facing dog. Go ahead and bring the knees onto the earth. Coming into your tabletop position. Extend the right leg long and back. Bend at the right knee. Reach for right foot with the left hand. Press the foot into the hand as you gently open the heart forward and up. And gently release the right leg. Left hand to the earth. Extend the left leg long and back. Bend at the left knee, reach for left foot with right hand. Press foot into the hand as you open the heart. And then gently release. Go ahead and bring the hips back towards the feet, over to one side, and the legs around in front of you. Go ahead and come on to your back. Hugging the knees in towards the chest. We're going to come into a supine gomukhasana. So you're going to cross the right knee on top of the left. And you want the feet to point out to either side. 
So the right leg, the right foot's gonna point out to the left and the left foot will point out to the right. And then from here, you wanna take hold and really bring the knees or the thighs into the chest. You're gonna take hold of maybe the calves, maybe the ankles, maybe the feet if that's available to you, and then pull the feet towards the earth. So you should feel really big stretch along the outer, um, particularly the outer right hip since we've got the right leg um, on top of the left. And then gently release the legs, switch the cross. So left leg stacks on top of the right. Take hold of the shins and really pull the thighs in onto the torso. You want the right foot pointing out to the left, the left foot pointing out to the right. You're gonna take hold of uh, the calves or shins, the ankles, maybe the feet, whatever's available to you, and then gently pull them towards the earth. And then gently release, hugging both knees into the chest. Go ahead and come on into a happy baby, taking hold of inside or outside edges of the feet, pulling them towards the earth. And if there are any final movements that your body is craving, before we find stillness in Shavasana, feel free to pause the video and take whatever that is. If you're ready for Shavasana, go ahead and extend the legs long, the feet about as wide as your mat. Release palms by the sides of the body, or arms by the sides of the body with the palms turned up towards the sky. Take a big breath in and a breath out. And can you settle here into this present moment? And settle into the sensation of your body resting on the earth. And the feeling of your heart beating in your chest. And the sensation of your inhales and exhales.
And if you have more time to stay here in Shavasana, please do stay. Otherwise, start to bring gentle movement into fingers and toes. Turn the head gently from side to side. Extend the arms long overhead, take a nice long stretch. Bring soles of your feet flat onto your mat and turn on to the side of your choice. Using the top hand to help press you up, make your way into a comfortable seat. And sitting up nice and tall, rooting down through your sitting bones, lengthening through the crown of your head. Invite the eyelids to close as you take a moment here at the end of your practice. And I invite you to step off of your mat today with the following mantra in mind. This is what's happening now. Come back to this whenever you feel your mind pulling you out of the present moment. This is what's happening now. Bringing the palms a touch at heart center and bowing the head gently towards the hands. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you in this practice today. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me here on the mat. I hope you head off into the rest of your day feeling a little more present, a little more in the here and now. I will meet you right back here on the mat next time.